Oh, did this fool just rock? Uh. Oh, you done messed up now. Don't. Dang it, man. What part he didn't understand? Duh, duh. What's good, folks? How you living? It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K here. As you can see, making the most of my time dealing with this COVID-19 situation. Oh, my goodness. It sucks. However, you know something? Making the most of it just like you are. Especially from the DJ standpoint that I have to make the most of it because technically being a DJ is my job. So, you know what? Let me pause that for a second. It is my job and, uh, well, you got to deal with it to the best of my ability, just like you. And one of the ways I'm dealing with it is the same way you DJs are dealing with it as well. You're rocking out on Facebook Live. You're rocking out on Instagram Live. You're rocking out on Periscope. You're rocking out on Twitch or wherever you're rocking out. You're getting it in, doing these club quarantine type events online. And, you know, not just myself, but the people, they're loving it. Yet, I do got to ask this question to all the DJs around the world that's not on the level of a DJ K Capri, a DJ Scratch, a D Nice, or Jazzy Jeff. What are you doing as a DJ for your future? Okay, what are you preparing for? How are you preparing? Because the reality is this. There's a strong possibility that we'll be doing actual events again very soon and we won't have to worry about COVID-19. I can't wait for those days because I miss being in front of the crowd, rocking out, getting it in. And I know you do too. So what are you doing to prepare for this possibility for yourself? I gotta ask that question. You know, let's talk about it because one of the things I've noticed and it's sad over the past couple of weeks that I've noticed DJs are losing gigs due to clients rescheduling dates without them. And they're scheduling on dates that DJs are booked and that sucks. And you know what? It's not the client's fault, it's your fault because you're not reaching out to the client. And here's the deal, the client, guess who they, they're reaching out to? The venues, first and foremost. And the venues are doing what they do because they have a contractual obligation to deal with these clients just as you do. So they're booking these dates and the person's going back, the clients are going back to you, the DJ and saying, I got this date because you didn't reach out to them first. So you might have had an event with them on the 15th of May, but now you have nothing because you're double booked on the same date that they rescheduled for. So you're losing out because you didn't stay in contact with your clients. All right, the venues, listen, it ain't, it's nothing personal to them. They gotta do what they gotta do as well. Am I wrong? Well, I always say in business, communication is key and the lack thereof can be your downfall. It's sticking, it's sticking out like a sore thumb right now. So do yourself a favor, if you haven't already, get on that phone, call them up, hit them up with a text maybe, or email them one way or the other, reach out to them if you haven't already. Also, should you reach out to, you reached out to your client already and you somehow are still in a position where you still can't do the gig, make sure that you have a backup in place. It should be in your contract that you have a backup DJ in place should something happen, all right? So this way you don't lose out completely, but you lose out some, but you don't lose out completely. This should be a DJ friend of yours or somebody that you know that can fill in when you can't make it to an event that should be in that spot for you. Okay, think about that for a minute. Anything is possible. As we can see right now, anything can happen. Sure, who would have thunk? I had so many gigs in April, just go, whoop, gone. Reschedule, cancel, something. Why? Because the crazy thing is COVID-19 happened. 
We don't know what's gonna happen, but you should always be prepared for these things. Ah, uh, hold on right there, there you go. Now, if you're a DJ, you should be preparing for the possibilities of anything happening. Especially right now with COVID-19 going on, you should be preparing for the fact that I'm up about 20. You should be preparing as if tomorrow you still have a gig. You should be preparing like that. You should be preparing as if, well, you know what? You're in a position where you're signing contracts. You should be preparing for these things because there's going to be that time we're back to rocking out the weddings the nightclubs, the barbecues, the birthday parties, the bar mitzvahs, the bat mitzvahs. And people are just gonna throw parties now just to throw them. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for those. Cause it, people are gonna be like, you know what? Here we go, I'm back in the game. I can invite my mama, my daddy, my cousin, my aunt, the drunk uncle, whoever. They're gonna be ready for it, all right? And you should be ready too, all right. We'll continue this at another time. And also we're gonna talk about how, as you can see what I'm doing right now in multi-screening one, you know, NBA 2K and talking to you and how you can do this live on OBS and all of those things and restream and all of those. We'll be talking about those as well. But for now, I'm gonna get out of here, do yourself a favor, make sure you like this uh, video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that little bell on the side over there for me, man. Because that little bell on the side is going to just give you an update notice of when I come back on with a new uh, video. So you can get great tips and all that good stuff. All right. Anyhow, I'm out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. It's your boy, the Mix Monster DJ Coach K saying... I'm up, I'm out of here. See ya, we wanna be a salute, deuces. <laughs> I love this thing, man.